here and I'm here to bring you another on the how rundown of Equinox, the lovely new addition to Warframe. Now Equinox is a frame featuring a duality as the Lotus calls it of a in a Warframe and by that I mean it's like two Warframes in one. So she has a day form which is the buffing offensive one. And then she has the um night form, which is the um supporting healing one, pretty much. And as you can see, they each have their own little moves. Um, metamorphosis. I mean, I'll just kind of go over the moves now, cause I don't know if I'll have the energy later in the mission. But what pretty much what metamorphosis does, it will change between the two, um, night and day at will. So I mean, you. you You'll like that. You kind of want that. Then there's rest and rage. So I'm gonna go of the night form than the day form. So night four rest. You cast it and allows one enemy to put to rest, or if close enough, multiple. And then that um lowers. I don't think does it lower their armor. Um, really didn't script this well. So they're more vulnerable to damage, I guess. Guess, um, and then it puts them to sleep. But if you do hurt them enough, they will wake up with that if you don't kill them. But they are open to the finisher attacks. So I would say anyone you do put to sleep, you might as well just finish them off if you do have a melee, because you don't want somebody shooting them up if it is a big enemy and then waking them up to waste your thing. Now the ability has only a 2.5 radius, but anybody within that radius can get put to sleep, so one enemy or multiple enemies, like if they're close enough, can be happened. So I've seen this a lot with an infested, as I can cast on one enemy and like a few of them will all get um, put to sleep. But it's kind of rare for one. In the night form, Pacify, it reduces the damage inflicted by nearby enemies, and it is a power drain over time move. With every enemy inside your, um, the range of the move, it it drains more and more energy. So, I mean, I would say walk around with this on at your own risk. Like, if you're doing, like, a, a fast-paced mission where you're really easily killing the enemies, you might be able to hold this on for the whole time if you have enough energy. But if you're standing on, like, a defense or something where they're all running in, like, for infested, I wouldn't keep it on too much, especially if you're not getting hit a lot. And then there's men. So men, when she casts his ability, it puts a uh, effective range on that um, will be seen by her like little energy and like a water like appearance on the ground. While this ability is active, um, allies. This is allies are killed. Every enemy killed. This is more over as you kill enemies and I'll rack up a gauge for the actual move, and then you'll re when you recast it. Any surrounding, um, you and any surrounding ally will be healed with the amount, depending on the amount of damage you racked up in men. Now for the day form. Day form, uh, the second power of rage will put an enemy into a faster paced, um, motion and attack speed. But will put their damage vulnerability up some. So you can almost take it like a no Nova Prime's molecular prime, or Nova's molecular prime. Um, but like without the exploding, so it, they do take more damage, and they're a bit, but they aren't like a lot faster. But I guess the increased damage is good, as you can, you can go to a, you be in de, uh, night form, put something to sleep, and then go to rage, or you can go to not, day form and put something on, um, rage on something. So if you know it's a really high enemy, you won't die on the first hit. Well, then you do this, and it will probably kill it. Then this is Provoke. So while Provoke's active, it puts a similar range as Pacify. And any um, ally within that range that casts an ability will have the ability buffed. But with every ability cast, you will get a power drain to your own self. So that again is a risk to be used as if like if you're by somebody like a Mesa. Well, I guess not a Mesa, but somebody like a Saren that will spam a lot. Yes, it's helpful. But it can cost your own energy while they are too, so then once you're both at energy, you might be stuck. And then maim. So it pretty much works the same thing as men, except as when it does put out the aura, it's a slash aura. Anybody that steps in order will immediately get a immediate slash proc. And with that slash proc, 
um, throughout the level, if you kill enemies, that will rack up a gauge, and when you decast it again, pretty much any enemy within that range will take the effect of maim. So now that that's kind of all clear done, I'm just gonna go, you know, hop into, uh, I guess a weak mission, and kind of show off some of her abilities. And yes, it is confirmed, as most people want to say, by DE. Equinox is a female, not both. Now, some I kind of do, and a lot of other people kind of people say that they still think it's both, as we were meant to believe that it was male and female in one, as in the day form being, you know, one form, and the night form being the the female form. Oh, and I forgot to mention talking about that. When you spawn in the missions that are not the relay and or your license or dojo, other places that you won't be like the duality in one. Uh, but depending on your energy color, that will that will um, determine your night and day aspect of what mission you spawn in. With darker colors, making day as I have purple energy and I spawn as the day. And yes, it's day, but I pretty much changed their primary colors of white and black. <coughs> and then. While in the um, day form, or while with light colors, you of course will get the energy or the appearance of day form at the start of missions. So I'm just going to rack up my energy because I will be casting quite a few abilities. Um, hopefully. So first ability, I saw an enemy over here. Is rest. As I cast it. They cut the our little my energy code with these little string threads. And they're pretty much put on a sleep state. Now while in this sleep state, they do keep their awareness. So if they're alert while you cast it when they come out that, they will immediately be alert. But if they're not alert and you cast it, they will also stay not alert. And then uh, you can do a um stealth kill. Don't know why I was channeling with that. Um, I don't really know how to kind of, like, put off pacify. I guess if I get in a group of enemies and just kind of cast it. You see me? As you can see, when I cast this, they're actually doing quite a lot of damage. I cast pacify, and then their damage is actually greatly reduced. So that really puts up her um survivability so i'm just gonna cast that also that can hurt me a bit <coughs> my dog is killing them kind of wanted them to um boom um so let's go let's see if we can show off main bend hey I'm right here, buddy. So, man, as you can see, my health will be taken down. And then slowly, by your um, name, you can see uh, the, mi the min symbol with a number under it. And as you kill enemies, that number will steadily increase. And I think the higher the enemy the higher the enemy level may be, I think the higher the number goes. Or depending on how much damage you do. And then casting it again will of course heal you as you can see. I get all my health back. Now, day form. Oh, and as you go from um, each metamorphosis, you do to get buff. So switching to the day night form will grant you additional shields that will deteriorate over time. And um, armor and... Day form will give you increased damage and attack speed. And that actually has a pretty good duration. Now, let's do rest and rage. So, okay. Rage, as you can see, the enemy is shooting a bit faster, doing a little more damage. But he's kind of took a lot more damage as he took 300 with that pellet. That person only took 100. So, you see damage impulse is quite bigger i can't really show off provoke but like i said it's literally the ability is a buff to the other warframes abilities so i mean i guess like that's pretty self-explanatory
to me. Um, I'm just gonna kind of run the Vork because it'll be easier to show off um, Maim all around him with his spawning a group of enemies and all. Or right now. So with this, as you can see, enemies will get a slash proc. If they're actually weak enough, they'll immediately die as many of the enemies I'm coming across are. So this is actually like, you know, really good in like People say the little slash isn't, like, it's kind of pointless, but it's actually really good when you're up against, like, low, low enemies as I am, because I can just run through the level and just let it kill all enemies. And physically killing the enemies will still, like, you don't have to physically kill the enemies to rack up your damage, but, you know, it makes it a little bit more efficient. And then I can do this. And then I slowly get the slash proc on. And then I could cast that. And of course it classes slash proc again and whatnot. Ouch. Oh wow. So, I mean, I guess that's pretty much Equinox. Really balanced frame. I mean, I've always liked healing frames, but I've never liked how they were not really that offensive. But then, when Equinox, you can actually switch those offensive, and their abilities are actually, like, more focused around that specific thing. So, with the day four, you pretty much have a good survivability. As you can make it so you don't get hit a lot, and then, you know, healing yourself is always good, you know. And then with... A f oh, okay, my dog killed him. And of course with the day form, it's more of like... You hop into an exterminate, maybe like a low-level infested or something, just... Cast ma maim, and kind of walk around and as watch as everybody gets sliced to bits. Um... And this is ex even extremely helpful, like, with survivals, as you pretty much, with a low, with, like, a low enough survival and infested, or, I say anybody for that matter, because the Grenier can't really take much slash damage low level. Corpus really can't, because they barely have any, like, real health and everything. I mean, they're, they're more shield slash going right to their health isn't too good for them. And, of course, infested taking more damage from slash. That's never too good. Um, so I kind of like that to kind of do my low level missions, I guess, as my my preference. I don't have a preference on which side to use. I guess it as I can, as you saw, it depends on like play style. Okay, he just got it, or it depends on what, like the scenario of um, where I'm playing. So most low levels, I say day is the best because you can kill them quickly and then high levels survivability like with the higher level enemies doing more damage you cast p pacify lowering their damage and then men to heal you when needed the only downside is you do have to rack this up so you do if you do not bring good enough weapons and aren't are and you are playing solo um it's kind of hard to rack their last ability up but, you know, I think that's really, like, that's a take you have to get from the whole deal. And it's a good, I mean, take back from it all. Like, it's something I could deal with. So, I mean, I guess that's it, guys. Please, uh, like, subscribe, share for more, and follow me down at Twitch if you haven't already. Um, wherever you're watching this video, I mean, do, do what's said. And as always, my, my wolf pack is...